Well, what happened was that second game, we got our ass kicked, or the second half. We just got our ass totally kicked. We couldn't do diddly poo offensively. We couldn't make a first down. We couldn't run the ball. We didn't try to run the ball. We couldn't complete a pass. We sucked. The second half, we sucked. We couldn't stop the run. Every time they got the ball, they went down and got points. We got our ass totally kicked in the second half. That's what it boiled down to. It was a horse performance in the second half. Horse I'm totally embarrassed and totally ashamed. Coaching, we're all, all, our coaching did a horrible job. The players did a horrible job. We got our ass kicked in that second half. It sucked. It stunk. Hey YouTube, welcome to week two edition of 2024 season of Let's Have Some Football. Um, week one is in the books. Um, a lot of uh, really good games this weekend. Um, some uh, eye-opening performances. I, there are some teams that I was uh, I was kind of impressed with. Uh, the Bills looked really good in their game. Um, maybe their defense wasn't fantastic, but that offense is is still clicking with Josh Allen. Uh, the Cowboys go on the road um, at Cleveland, and I would say that's an impressive win. Um, yeah, Cleveland could be a, a mess this year. Um, let's see, another team. San Francisco looks really solid. So like a lot of the, the uh, usual suspects look um, pretty good week one. One team that really upset me so here we're getting to the knockout league section of the uh the knockout league results man the Bengals. the Bengals ruined so many people's knockout leagues this this week uh last week how do you go to new england no belichick no uh you know no tom brady you know not even a, a um mac jones and they get beat and just look pathetic. Um, just like, is New England's defense this great? Or is um, the um, offense of uh, the Bengals this terrible? Or are they just a terrible road team? Like, Joe Burrow is supposedly healthy. Um, you got Jamar Chase actually played, didn't hold out this game. And they still just get, um, just can't do anything. And wrecked my knockout league, so I'm out. Well, actually, the the, the contest is over after one week. Congrats to Who Dat Dog. Uh, he picked the Eagles. They won. Um, I picked the Bengals. They lost. And Winto he picked um, the Broncos, and they lost. So, uh, congrats to Who Dat Dog. I sent your prize out. But since it's over in one week, and Winto wants to give it another shot. I'm going to restart it. We're going to do it again. And I have another one of these. Another fresh wildcard illumination blaster to go to the winner 2021. It's got all rookie cards. Um, I've never opened these before. But you can get these red chase packs in these. And there's all the different rookies you can get. There's some good players on there. Um, Jalen Waddle. He's awesome. Travis Etienne. Um, you know, Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields. Oh, look at that. You can get Trey Lance and Mac Jones, too. Okay. But anyway, pretty cool. It's a football prize for the contest. We're going to restart the contest this week. Um, it's open for anybody. And even if, uh, if you, uh, like... Um, who that dog? He won with the Eagles. This is a complete restart, so you can pick any of the teams. He can pick the the Eagles again if he wants. Um, 
but I'll go over the rules again of the uh, knockout league contest. Okay, so you have to make your pick in the comments. Um, please be a subscriber and like the video too. Also, I didn't mention that last week. Um, if you want to enter this contest, um, hopefully it goes for more than one week, and hopefully we get a few more people. It's like, man, three people really wanted <laughs> to uh, play the game, but that's all right. It was still fun. And um, hopefully this time we get it going for a little more than one week. Um, but yeah, you can pick any. T you just have to pick one team that wins. It can be any any team. You just have to have that pick in before that team plays. And um, pretty simple rules. Also, there's a little bit of strategy involved in that you can't use the same team more than once. So um, again, we're restarting. So yes. This is like week one again, okay? So you can pick any of the teams. And if your team wins, you go the next week. And then eventually, I mean, last year it went like 10 weeks. Like, um, it was a really good contest. And the first year we did this, it was similar to this year. Um, one winner, week one. I won it after one week. And then we kicked it off again, and it went a few weeks. Lots of fun. Winto won that. And then this year, of course, one weekend, um, who that dog is the champion. And then um, we're going to see who wins the, uh, this will be the, actually the fourth. Um, I won last year, actually. Okay. Last year, I won. That went like 10 weeks. Um, it was me and Rangers baseball duking it out for a long time. It was two years ago that went to one. But he won the second time we did the contest. That was confusing. Sorry. So we're doing the, the contest the second time. This time you uh, can win this uh, awesome sealed blast box. I can open it on the channel if you want. Or I can just ship it to you sealed. Oh, another caveat is you can, if you're from another country other than the United States, you can still play, but I cannot ship you the blaster. Maybe we can do it like a PayPal. Um, maybe I can send you a PayPal. Uh, prize that's like similar amount to one of these boxes but shipping a box like this is just way too expensive unless you want to pay for the shipping I can do that too um, but international shipping is crazy nowadays so um, we can do it hopefully we get more than three people or if it's just two people or, or just me I still if it's just me picking I will still do it just to have fun picking Keeping uh, trying to see how many weeks I can go picking the game. And then, likely, that's usually when we end the, our season of um, let's have some football, is uh, once the uh, knockout stuff's pretty much done. Oh, Fantasy League. Oh, I, I need to do my, uh, my pick. Actually, I'm filming this on Thursday night, or Thursday, and there's a game tonight. Actually, actually, it's going to be a fantastic game. Buffalo at Miami. Um, I can't wait to see this game. I mean, this is, these are two of the probably the top four um, AFC teams. I think the, the top four are probably the Chiefs, the Ravens, the Bills, and the Dolphins. That seems like a really likely Final Four. I would have put Bengals up there, but my goodness, they were disappointing. But I think uh, as bad as they played week one, you cannot put them as a, a top four in an AFC team. Um, but tonight's game is going to be great. Um, very interesting to see how that game goes. If I had to pick a team to win, I would probably pick the Bills just because they look really strong. Um, let's see. It'll be fun. Um, so I'm not picking that game. But my pick for the Knockout League Part 2, um, I'm going with the Ravens. The Raiders are at Baltimore, and um, I have to pick that. I have to go with the Ravens. Um, I'm not a big believer in the, um, the Raiders. The Ravens are going to be plenty ticked off after losing by a toenail at the Chiefs. Um, I think it's going to be a really good game for the Ravens, and they're going to roll in that game. So I'm picking them for my knockout um, team, Baltimore Ravens, to make that clear. Um, the Chiefs game, I'm really excited for. 
they are playing at home against the Bengals. And man, I really want the Bengals to get just lit up. And if they are a bad road team, this is not going to be a good game for them. Because, believe me, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, all those guys remember a couple years ago of the Bengals talking about how that's Burrowhead Stadium. Oh, it's going to, they do not forget things like that, and they are going to be drubbing the Bengals. Maybe the Bengals wake up a little bit in that game since it's against the Chiefs, but ooh, I just don't see it. That would be a really good knockout pick, but I'm going with the Ravens. I'm going to save the Chiefs for later. So that's part of strategy because you can only pick a team one time, and um, I felt like my pick of the Ravens is going to be good. Oh, also another rule for the knockout league is you can pick the same team as somebody else, but you know, you know, it's not as fun, but it's not against the rules. The only rule is that you have to pick, you can't pick the same team more than once. So, um, hopefully we get some contestants here and we have a good, uh, little role here with picking some teams and it's a little bit easier after the first week because you get to see like the Bengals are terrible when we, they look like they would be really good now you get to see them having proved it in a real game and see who's actually good and who's bad so it makes it a little more um, doable um, after getting to see so like the week one is like can you somehow get through week one off of gut instinct and then week two, you have a little bit of uh, um, a little bit of evidence to see if, if these teams are that good or not. All right, so fantasy team. Um, I had a really good week. I was actually I I looked it up. I was the fourth highest scoring team in the whole league, but I was going against the highest scoring team in the league. That's how fantasy football go. And so we start off zero and one, but. I'm not that disappointed because I had a good week, so I know my team can score some points. It's just a uh, bad matchup in fantasy football. Um, I had um, I had Lamar Jackson playing. He had a good game. He uh, ran all over the field against the Chiefs and um, racked up. Like we get points for uh, rushing yards, and so he threw a touchdown and ran a bunch of yards. So I, he had a good game. I had a really good game from Rashid Shahid. He was my secret weapon last year. He looks really good again this year. Uh, as he gets worked into the offense a little more, he had a great game. Um, let's see, who else had good games? Travis Henry scored for me. Derek Henry. Who's Travis Henry? Is that an actual person? Uh, Derek Henry. He scored for me. And I had another running back score. Uh, James Conner, he scored for me. Um, um, A.J. Brown had a nice game. So we had some some good players. Hopefully the, my good players will step up again next week because we are playing um, a team called the Monstars. Um, and uh, they are really good. In fact, probably will end up being the highest scoring team in the league this year, I would guess. Because uh, they, they're a really good uh, fantasy football team every year. And I think we're going against, we're going up against uh, Josh Allen. We went against Josh Allen in week one. That's probably why we lost. We're going in the Monsters. They also have Josh Allen. Our league's big league, but there's two different pools of players. So it's kind of weird rules. So you could possibly have to – there's a team in the – we call it the AFC and the NFC. Um, the AFC has their own pool of players. The NFC has their own pool of players. It's a bigger league, but each team has their own pool of players. So it's pretty exciting that way. Everybody has pretty good players to use. So I'm going against Josh Allen again on this team and Tyree Kill. Went against him uh, week one. Now I'm going right back against him in week two. So – a very similar type team that I'm having to go up against. But hopefully we get the job done. All right. I think that wraps up all of our football topics. Um, please, guys, 
let's have some fun. Let's win a uh, awesome blaster box of Wild Card Illumination 2021. All rookies. Um, congrats to Who Dat Dog uh, for uh, winning part one of our knockout league. And hopefully part two will last a few weeks and make it really exciting down the stretch to see who wins. All right. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more, for more videos. And let's have some football. Adios, mofo. Vinny Testa Verde. Yeah. Vinny Testa Verde. Yeah. Vinny Testa Verde. He makes on a frozen road He's Vinny Testaverde Yeah Vinny Testaverde Yeah Vinny Testaverde Yeah Vinny Testaverde yeah. He's the best quarterback in the American football conference Every pass he makes on a frozen road